we are trying to make it as simple as possible for any developer that may have incredible experience in creating his own application, but zero experience in real-time communication to embed it and have it run reliably without actually dealing with all these challenges. Hi, this is Patrick Asher here at the Gendai offices in Tel Aviv, Israel, which is the headquarter for the Candy mobile development team. This team has a long history of building real-time communications across mobile networks. You may know them from their very first application, which was Spring, the first real-time communications over-the-top voice application on iOS. Today we're going to go in, check out what they're doing, and learn the unique uh, skills that they've brought to the Candy mobile SDK. Come on. So I'm here with Gabriel and Ram, the part of the Fring team here, and uh, they have a long history of doing real-time communications uh, over the, over the top on mobile devices. And a little bit what we want to learn about today is the experience that uh, the Fring team has in, in delivering real-time communications over the top, and how they've taken that experience and baked it into the Candy mobile SDKs. What are some of the the unique things about the Candy mobile SDK that are lessons learned that we've baked into the Candy mobile SDK? Well, we try to make it for the developer as simple as possible so he doesn't have to worry about the fragmentation between devices, about the state of the device, how to improve a battery life, network usage. We try to wrap all this inside the SDK so the actual implementation will be for the user very simple. So what, what lessons have you learned in improving the the battery life. The main thing is just to have the minimum amount of uh, time that you spend connected to the network. On one side, stay connected using uh, our uh, push mechanism or the uh, Google push mechanism. Uh, while maintaining this connection, uh, try to do the intervals between the times you make sure you are connected as far as possible. A lot of folks are just using WebRTC and a mobile browser to do real-time communications. Mm -hmm. When you compare that to Candy's mobile SDK, what kind of battery efficiency and reliability over unreliable wireless networks does the Candy SDK bring over just standard WebRTC streaming? The SDK uh, is supposed to bring it uh, to be a much more smooth experience when you put it in your application. WebRTC is known for being very light and for being browser-oriented, but the moment we go to a mobile platform, a whole new set of challenges appear. Uh, applications don't go to the background and continue to run in the same way that they do in, uh, in a desktop environment. Uh, incoming events are completely different. The connectivity and the intermission of connectivity whenever you may step into an elevator and step out a second later then, then is, is, the environment is completely different. So what we're doing is exactly what uh, Ram just mentioned, is taking all of the challenges and all of our experience that, to, to address these challenges and putting them in the mobile SDK. Make sure you check out the Candy mobile SDK on candy.io. Thanks. <laughs>